Hey Mech Warriors, welcome back to Opa Plays Mech Warrior 5. Uh, all four DLCs, and we're in career mode and modded. We're at level 10. We're in the Gallatin system. We just finished up uh, the conspirators and took on board. Well, we'll be taking on board. Hang on a second. We got to go back up here and take it, don't we? We do indeed. We're going to take on board a rifleman DNA, which is Diana. It's the actual name of it. And we'll take a look at it real quick. And I did, in fact, get the XL engine intact, which was one of my bigger fears. So, let's take a loadout on it. We're going to repair those Gauss rifles, Gauss rifles, because they are, in fact, oh, it's saying it's dead, but not. Okay. Good job. I do want the XL engine. I don't want anything else. It's all for sale, as far as I'm concerned. As soon as my 26 days are over, well, it won't let me do that. I got to pull the engine as well. You can't uh, can't make a start work on a battle mech that's overweight. But I could fix that by just doing that, and leaving the engine in. And I think I'm going to because that's still 26 days. Pulling the engine would have cost me a couple more. So we'll start work. I want the XL, because right now I think I already have one laying around in the equipment. I do. So, going to do a little bit of uh, flipping mechs around. I want that Banshee free. So... Because I got plans for it. So we'll advance our timeline a bit. Now the Banshee already has an XL engine, and I believe it's already running around at um, 64.8, which makes it a really good command mech for uh, missions that are mostly heavy mechs. Let's see. But what we got was when we bought the Warhammer, we wound up emptying out quite a bit of good stuff. Uh, nope, it's not uh, running XL engines. So we'll give it space to grow. Take the one that I got. Throw it right on in there. And suddenly I got 13 tons of free space. And keep in mind that we are in fact running modded. So what that lets me do is take that out and put it back as a large laser. And, but I don't have any good ones but I got a good enough one. And I still got 10 tons for additional cooling, which I will need because I'm at 6.2 right now. Yep, and the issue here is I don't have enough space to put heat sinking in very well, do I? Well, that won't do any good anyway, but I do have some extra heat sinks. Doubles, I'll throw that in the engine. I'm not going to be able to take that large laser there. That just, it's too hot. And that's going to make, uh, yeah, it kind of throws my whole battle plan into a disarray. Array. Huh. Well, the good news is it got some double heat sinks to spread amongst the, uh, the fleet, so to speak. Got a ton and a half of SRM6 and got a uh, three tons of 10, so that's all I need for that for sure. 
Already got my improved heat sinks or improved uh, sensors. And this stuff never shows up until you're 30, 50 ish. Still got 10 tons. What is a mech pilot to do when you still got 10 tons? We're going to move that over here and I'm going to take that uh, extra tier 3 like I had before. Max out that. I'm going to take this guy away. Put him down here. Yeah. I've really got to get that up to 3. And the only way I know to do that is just hold down the single heat sink button. That looks kind of weird, doesn't it? I'm almost at 3, which is still not quite enough. Bang. It's my mystical, magical number that comes out of people talking about it, saying you should always have your cooling heat be at least half of your weapon heat. And it proved pretty much true throughout the game. So I try to stick to it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a new Banji build. And how many more days on the Rifleman? We'll let that expire. Because I'm going to sell it. I just don't have need to be paying for the maintenance of a hero mech that I will never, in fact, use. I've got 17 million sea bills to spend. And I'm not paying for the Banshee. I will keep the Cobalt simply because it's uh, one of my favorite mechs and near and dear to my heart. That mech has saved me so many times when you're starting off and you. You get it somewhere between levels three and four, and it just comes in and changes everything. So, I like to keep it. I've gotten so used to only having 12 mechs. And part of that's my storage cost is 3200 or 300k a quarter. And my quarterly is 1 million. Where else is there to go? What are we going to do from here? That is the question. I really like the idea of taking out mercenary companies and playing games with them, but not at uh, 400 drops, although I have it. And 360s, well, should be okay. I'm going to slip over to Lee, see the canteen missions and that weapon. I don't need another heavy that much. What I kind of need is all my prima donna elite pilots to get some experience in the uh, heavier mechs, and that means I need to start taking on those missions. Yeah, lots of good stuff, nothing I really want. But one thing I do want is to clear up my... Uh, That's nice. That's nice. And I gotta clear up some like I was I gotta clear up my cantina missions because there's ones I'm simply not gonna get like this guy's way away from here. Uh haven't seen any fleas and probably won't in four hundred mi ton missions. Besides, even if I did, I want the cantina missions for war dog. I put a priority on them because they have the uh, 
15% speed bump, which makes heavy or makes the salt mix user friendly. You're not waiting forever for it to get somewhere. Now let's go back up here and take a look at this. Who are these clowns? They are the Black Hearts. They are uncontacted veterans with all levels of mech. Well, that's a good thing, because this is a 400 ton area. And I'm a 10 and they're 11 and 12, so let's go take a look and knock on some doors. I got a targeted kill for Davion against Merrick, and this is Merrick territory, the green. Therefore, this should draw them out if they're contracted to as a garrison unit for the Merrick, and that's what they should be there for. Let's go play. Well, I'm 11 and a half minutes in and I haven't even shot a laser yet. Okie dokie, contracts. a targeted kill, wasn't it? Yeah, four Davian against Merrick. Okay. I'm gonna save. That's all there is to it. I think saving during gameplay is something a lot of the uh, online bloggers don't talk about because they're a little smoother than I am at picking a screen that doesn't move like this one pausing it and then going back but I've been at times when when I pause and the uh, the video just doesn't restart when I hit the, the the key for it so I like to make sure 360 tons 78 difficulty targeted kill we're looking at nope 80 difficulty 360 ton targeted kill the targets are traveling together and I've got artillery. Isn't this special? And mercenaries are active in this cluster of systems. Let's just rank up that uh, difficulty level just a little bit. However, I'm gonna confess, I do in fact have the no artillery mod running, so I do not feel the effects of artillery. I have personal reasons for that that have nothing to do with gameplay, and I'll discuss them online if you ever want to. Now, we gotta ramp this up a little bit. Uh, this guy's gonna get upgraded to 11.9.10, so he'll get the, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, we could do better than that. We gotta pick ourselves a boarhead pilot. Well, not a lot to pick from. Looks like Revis might be it. Or Salinas if I get him off the uh, stalker. We'll put the board head there and put a put a pin in Revis. this yeah you know what you stay with that but you're going down to slot three Sir, this is Nuke. slot four I'm sorry my uh, tongue is moving faster my brain's moving faster than my tongue and the other guy I want is the A I'm going in full bore Who's good with the A? Nobody. Yeah, best I can do is a pink. And the A is... Good mass of missiles. 
<laughs> it's just bad because Goblin keeps sticking out to me because he's got this 13, but he's got a 3. And it's like, I need to fire him and save the money, huh? And Kelpie's the same. I gotta run him on about 15 missions at level 3 just to get him up to speed. That's just bad. I'm gonna take Bower because she's at least a 10. Mom, Pop, look at me now. Let's go hunting. Yeah, and the other weapon she's got is an AC5. And she's at least got an 11 in ballistics, so... Never thought I'd get to the point where I was complaining that people, pilots, all of my pilots were elite. And most of my uh, active mechs were heroes and I didn't have anything to choose from or nothing good to use. Uh, adult beverages. That's why we get up in the morning. really hoping the mercenaries come out to play and I'm really hoping they do it with like medium mechs but that's never the way is it just had to pause that so I could say that this bounty is only payable if we bring the entire group to justice so you will have to search the area and ensure that everyone on our list is found and dealt with before we can pack it in. Oh, there they are. Commander, our mutual employer has sent us to reinforce you. Lead ah. the way. I'll take it. And a bunch of heavies. I could have taken them, but I'd have been scarred. Let's call it what it is. Well, it looks like we can either go across here, this way, go through that little canyon, and then down on it. Don't like narrow entrances. Don't like them at all. Mechs get all tangled up now that we've got two forces to get seriously tangled up. And speaking of which, where'd they go? Well now, that's strange. All of my... oh, there they are. Wow. Okay, they're just stacking up, not showing. I hope. Trying to see what's going on with my allied mercenary company. One of them just, just appeared out of nowhere. There they are. Nice camo. Marauder, blackjack. I don't know. That's my stalker. That's what I thought. Black Knight. Ryan or Black Knight? Black Knight again. This is Hammer. I got something on sensor. Spider. They're as good as dead. I would hope so. Taking heavy damage. I'll just note that that was no longer showing red after I shot it. <laughs> Kind of fricasseed that puppy, didn't we? We're gonna try and hang a look. Are you done crawling around? Looks like we're at the wrong place, Commander. Our target must have given us a slip. That Let's check out the other locations. We'll do this one. 
I'm showing nothing on Scorps that can be identified as our targets. We'll have to move on to the next nav point. Well, the readout did say that it looks like they're traveling together. And so are we. if I'd stayed around to kill him, or had to take him out first and then come get these guys. Now imagine if my mech was moving at 64 kilometers per hour. That's what an XL engine would do for you.
Sorry, caught me with my mouth full. Rank 11. Good deal. Now let's see what we get out of the mercenaries for that. I encountered the black arts. I did not get up or promote it up because it's uh, 1100, 150, 250 points I still need. Okie Hey, happened to see a, uh, what somebody called a level 10 mission from Bounty Hunter. That might have been what I'm going to see seven missions from now. And it, I'm just going to say Google it on YouTube because he's a rather good player. He takes a trebuchet LG, hero mech, on a 400 ton mission with all the others being salt mechs, his, free, his freelance mates, and just slays it. Wow. I've seen others do that with the uh, Agincourt, same kind of deal. Um, but this guy just dances in his mech. He's a very good player. Uh, and I can't remember his name. I might bring him up in a future episode just to give him a shout out because he deserves it. Not your usual ones. He's got like, you know, maybe... I don't know. Yeah. Good player. Good player indeed. Well worth time watching. Makes me wish I could do that. I can't type that fast. He must be playing on some other kind of control pad. Anyway, here we are. Finished that. Got some mercenary stuff going on. Got me a hero mech up here at Halloran gonna stop in and take a look. This is gonna be a one combat and two build and talk episode. Well look, a dropship proceeding through space. Night Star, that would be the WP. Hmm. I do like it. I probably do not have the money for it. Whoa, that's a bargain deal. That is a bargain deal. I don't need another Atlas A, so... That's a bargain deal. You guys ever seen this guy before? He's kind of rare. I picked him up in my last uh, walkthrough as well. Um... It's a mech after my own heart. It's a SRM shotgun mech with enough long range lasers and other stuff to uh, defend itself otherwise. And I'm gonna call it sold. I might take a while refitting that the way I like it. But, and I'll be paying millions to hold on to it while I do that. But to me it's worthwhile. To me, it's very much worthwhile. Let's take a better look at it from up here. Because meanwhile, I do need to repair all. Still got 7-6. Might have to drop another mech, which will be a Commander or the uh, Crusader or the uh, Quick Draw. Probably leading towards the uh, Crusader. Or just hold them all, because we can. So, take a look. That's a pretty good mech. Now, I don't like the six Artemis. But, and way too much ammo for it. Two ammos each. Just not needed. Oop, and a half over here. And one in the head. Come on. Way too much ammo for it. Besides which, I got better. Not Artemis, but... Nope, oh, even got better Artemis. There we go. So you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, and you're gone. Those two...
Do I not have room? Well, they take three. Okay, you're gone, you're gone. How about that? That's 18 and a half points more damage. And now I'm going to have to put more Artemis back in just to make sure I got it because those were sixes. It was a six and a four. And I think they had like 10 tons of ammo. Wow. That's just... That's standing there and shooting for a long time for nothing. I will go ahead and fill my center torso up with two more. Now, yeah, that's... 320 times 6. That's enough. I think. I gotta confess, I don't like uh, pulse lasers. And I'll explain why with an, with an example. That is a medium pulse laser tier 1. Nope. Tell me I don't, have a, I don't have a laser tier 1. I do. Okay. Medium laser tier 1. 1 ton, 5 damage, 1 damage per second. Zoop. Over here, 2 ton, 6 damage, 1.9 damage per second. And the heat's 0.76. But the range, optimal is only 220 and max is 440. It's going to get me wrong again. Okay, I've got a lot, slightly longer range. And it fires faster. I've been wrong. Okay. I'll be the first to admit it. Those two can go and those come back. Okay. Large lasers. I got tier twos. Here's where it gets funky. Follow along. Whoop. I don't have room. Gotta get rid of them. Good chunk. That saved eight tons. Now what to do with them? Don't need this guy up here. Could you imagine this if I actually made this a... Uh, I'm buying it on purpose. If I made this an LRM mech, like I was saying I needed to do yet. Hmm. I know one thing I'm going to do. That's gone. Am I in inventory? No. I'm on market. Okay. That's too much engine. Yeah, my weapon heat's way too hot. That's too much engine. I just blew a couple million dollars for nothing. Yeah, what do I have inventory? Not a lot. Market? I'll try that one. And that'll be the last chance on that. Uh, 350. Let's cool that down a little bit. This kind of answers the question, though. Imagine that with the LRMs. Um, these are three each, four each. So I got eight tons worth of LRM. 
that I could put there if I was going to switch it off, and that would be a 15 at 7 tons. A single 15. So, not necessarily a good deal. I would do that with a single 15 and try to squeeze in a 6 by taking out the, the MPs. As it stands, I got a ton to go and I haven't maxed armor yet. And I didn't really need to. So I got one more ton to go. It's already got engine double heat sinks, so I can't help it there. This is a hot mech. That's all there is to it. This is a very, very hot mech. And I don't think I can let this go. As in, it's too hot. There's no sense having a, a mech that does, you know, really good 100 points of damage, but overheats every time you pull a trigger. And these guys are heat makers. It's 2.7. And it's doing it every 2.3 seconds if it's just standing there firing. So that dropped it a whole point down, but still not enough. But I got three tons. So three tons. I do something I hate to do and put doubles in the arms. And now I'm just now, finally, where I consider it to be okay for heat. And I'll just throw that over here. Seventy-one days. I think I'm going to take a look at this. I I favor brawlers over LRMs, and I really don't see any other way to do this one. Nah, I'm going to go ahead. I'll admit I'm forty minutes into this episode, but I want to go ahead and make this an LRM mech instead. And I hope you'll bear with me as I do so. I need an LRM support mech. We'll start with that. Might put in uh, regular SRMs to support that, but right now I don't have the weight for it, do I? I need ammo for LRM 15s, which means at least a double which is 1100 it's almost 100 shots of LRM 15 oh, let's see, it'd be 30 if I fire them double so well, that's 40 shots a little less than 40 I'm trying to squeeze in some singles as well. I'm sorry, SRMs as well. I'll do those as fours just for close up. Get away from me. I got one that's a decent one. We'll do them. And that would be one ton of SRM. And that maxes me out, but I can take out that. And that gives me another LRM double so I can stand back all day and bring tears to my enemies by simply dropping a heat sink or three. It puts that in a better place. And now I'm still just as hot as I was before. when I was too hot. Oh. 
Oh, they make it so hard it just vexes me. LRM 15s are 7 tons at 20 damage. LRM 10s are 5 tons at 13. So 26 damage for two of them, as opposed to 40. And that's a big, big markup, isn't it? That's a big markup. But dang it, this mech is big enough. It should be able to carry good stuff. And it just can't, can it? That's cooler. Not enough to get out of its own way. Really isn't. And don't even ask me to get rid of the uh, long range lasers. But you know what? Why not? Hey, why not really? Let's not do that. Those are arms. Okay. This might be viable. This might be viable after all. It's cooler. Nope, wrong one. This is viable. I got one. I doubt I have ammo for one. Put it in and find out. I do not. Now I got five extra tons and I'm looking and feeling pretty good about that. So... I mean, my damage went down, but I've got something that can actually deliver rounds downfield. At 25.50 per shot, and 2,200, that's 44 shots. Stop me if I'm wrong. I'll just put two more tons in, right here. This guy over here and spread the load. I still got three more tons. And I think instead of eating up my uh, doubles, I'm going to put that right there. Eighty-five days. Kick it. So now I do have an SRM or LRM support mech. We'll paint, apply all, select all, apply, and now the, was it the wolf, I forget, it's been a while, wolf protector, wolf phoenix, is no longer in snow white armor, looking pretty, and this in no way conveys what it will be. Let's see if it changes that when time comes. Folks, that's 45 minutes in. I know I only got you one combat. I'm uh, short on cash. I got 27 days. I got to fix that now because I don't know if I'm going to remember it when I come back in. So I'm going to go to equipment and I'm going to sell some stuff.
y'all ever see me use an AC2? No. I'm already over the limit of where I gotta be. I don't use those, I don't use these. Uh, I'm probably never gonna use that. Or that. Or that. I got four million. We're good to go. And that was the whole point, was good over that. So I went from 30 to, oh my god, I can't pay my bills that quick. That's going to be an episode of Opa Plays MechWarrior 5. Y'all don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and come back for more. Till then, Opa's out.